This is the Sony a7 II, a full frame camera introduced in 2014. I bought mine new in 2016. I had moved to mirrorless Sony for my street photography and thought a full frame Sony would be perfect. It wasn't, and initially I hated this camera. It felt too big, didn't have a quiet shutter, and I had a Leica M9 for my Leica lenses. It never became my main camera. I did use it in the street on and off, but I just didn't love it. Then I started using it to adapt lenses and to take it for what it is, rather than complaining about what it isn't. It has a stabilized sensor, it is well built, and once I started using it often, I went past the horrible menu system and set it up in a way that it was fast to use and felt like second nature. I used it a lot after 2020 when I couldn't do so much photography in the street anymore. Then I started this channel and the a7 II became the camera that came with me everywhere because I'm always testing some old lens with it. The viewfinder is very good and focus peaking works great. I love that you can adapt basically any lens to it and shoot it in the original full frame and do experiments with tilt and macro helicoid adapters. So what would I do today if I had to replace this camera? Well, last Sunday I figured that out. It was the morning of a tsunami warning from the Tonga underwater volcano explosion and I went to the waterfront to take pictures. I had some fun taking photos of the water using a helical adapter that includes neutral density filters. The tsunami warning had passed and it had been about an hour, but the tide was still high. A few seconds after this one picture here, I got wrenched by a wave that came over the seawall. I dried the Sony as well as I could and wiped it with some fresh water, but it was too late. The camera was dead after less than 10,000 shots. Now, this could have been a chance to get an i7 III or some other newer Sony full frame body. I didn't consider other brands because by now I have tons of adapters and lenses for Sony. And I didn't go with a newer camera either. I found a used a7 II just like mine for $550 at my local camera shop and went for it. The newer Sonys are nicer, but they're not about $1,000 nicer than this camera. By now, I think this is a bit of a classic and definitely in the sweet spot I talked about in another video. Full frame, sensor stabilization, a nice viewfinder, plenty of resolution at 24 megapixels. I might get a newer body when they come down in price, but since this is not for street photography, the price for the a7 II is just right. Check out my real photos at juanbuehler.com and until the next video, cheers and goodbye.